Good evening. Thank you for being patient. Had some little difficulties. Um, this meeting has come to order. Welcome to the Southeast Delco Board Business Meeting of the Board of School Directors for Thursday, May 23rd, 2024. May I have a salute to the flag and a moment of silence. Thank you. Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call, please? Uh, yes, you may, Madam President. Mr. Fowler. Present. Mrs. McGowan. Present. Ms. Womack. Present. Ms. Woodfolk. I'm here, so I'm here. Present. <laughs> Mrs. Barley. Present. Ms. Harris Johnson. Present. Mr. Lafferty? Present. Ms. Perry? Present. Ms. Monroe Whitsett? Present. Dr. Sanchez? Present. Mr. DiOrio? Present. And Mr. Butler, present. And thank you, Ms. Perry. Mr. Frazier? Present. And Ms. Barley? Present. Thank you, Mr. Butler. Um, at this time, I do have comments. I just want to thank, um, it's Memorial Day weekend, so I'm hoping that everyone has a safe Memorial Day weekend. I also want to give honor to the veterans, uh, those in service. Um, let me just have, um, we thank you for your service, and we wish you the best. Is there a student board representative report? Yes, there is, Madam President. Thank you. Good evening, my name is Nathan Frazier. Hi, my name is Kiara Barley. This will be our re final report of the school year and my final meeting as a student representative. I'm excited to see Ms. Barley take the lead as a senior next school year, and I wish her well. Thank you to all of the administrators who contributed amazing news about their schools this year so we can highlight each building to the entire community. Starting with a congratulations to Delcroft School first grade teacher, Ms. Silverthorne, for receiving the 2024 Making a Difference Award from the Right to Education Local Task Force. She was recognized for going above and beyond to support inclusion in her school. Congratulations to Ms. DiMaggio, our Southeast Delco gifted support teacher, for receiving a 2024 Darby Township Community First Award. The honor goes to individuals who embody a spirit of community service and dedication to enhancing Darby Township. On May 3rd, the Kindergarten Center hosted their annual mobile career fair. Students got to spend the day outside exploring careers that involve vehicles. The children were able to explore fire trucks, utility trucks, police vehicles, a trash truck, a school bus, and more. Thank you to everyone who volunteered their time, including firefighters, police officers, emergency medical technicians, and other company representatives to make this event successful. Thank you to Ms. Kessler for helping organize this event every year. Next Thursday, the kindergartners will participate in the annual field day. The exciting event is designed to allow the kindergarten, the kindergarten children to work together in a variety of special activities. Even though it was a day of full of fun outside, it seems like they will be learning and developing valuable social emotional skills. On May 21st at Delcroft, the unified bocce team and their coaches hosted a demonstration for first through third grade students. One of the main focuses of the unified, unified bocce team is to foster inclusion among students and discussion and discuss what inclusion means. The students were asked to sign an inclusion pledge poster that we hung up in the gym for everyone to see during the demonstration. The team did a great job playing bocce and demonstrating what the game is and how it is played for the students. Thank you to coaches Toner and McDonald and the unified bocce team for their dedication and sportsmanship during the entire bocce season. On Friday, June 7th, Delcroft will hold their annual eighth grade promotion ceremony. Every year, this is the highlight of their calendar and the staff look forward to seeing their eighth graders take this big step in their lives. Harris School held their, hold, held their annual career fair 
on May 16th. Students in grades six through eighth were able to learn about various career fields and many employers participated, including the Collingdale Police Department. Thank you to Officer Hanley and Officer Worrell for attending. Students were extremely excited to learn about the different job and career opportunities available in our area. The eighth graders at Harris have a lot of exciting events coming up. Students will be participating in various eighth grade activities, including the eighth grade dance, picnic, award celebration, and promotion ceremony. The staff of Harris School wish the eighth graders so much success as they take their next step in the journey of beginning or being lifelong learners. Sharon Hill parents, please take note of the fantastic events coming up to celebrate our eighth graders at Sharon Hill. Their eighth grade picnic will be on June 3rd and their dance will be on June 4th, starting at 6 p.m. in the gym. The eighth grade promotion ceremony will be held on June 7th at 10 a.m. in the high school auditorium. We wish all of the eighth graders good luck in high school. At Sharon Hill School, a huge PBIS fun day was held for all grades on May 13th. The day included a moon bounce, tie-dye shirts, carnival games, face painting, basketball, a dunk tank, and more. We saw administrators and staff in the dunk tank and may have spotted a board member on the giant slide. <laughs> <laughs> At Darby Township School, the eighth graders will be celebrated on June 6th. Parents and families will be welcomed for the promotion ceremony. Please contact the officer, I mean the office for more details or if you have any questions. Darby Township is also gearing up for their annual Juneteenth Jubilee, which will be held on June 4th. Leading up to the event, students will participate in many lessons on the significance of the holiday and a school-wide poster contest. We are proud to announce the keynote speaker for this year's Jubilee is Serena Quick, the first black woman to own a Chick-fil-A franchise. Her keynote speech topic will be My Ancestor's Wildest Dream, History in the Making. After Ms. Quick's address, I mean address, sorry, students will tour the school to view the Juneteenth murals and posters hung throughout the building before heading to the recess yard for an all-out Juneteenth Jubilee dance party. Each student will receive a commemorative Juneteenth button, pin, bracelet, sticker, and freedom freeze pops. A pizza party will also be held for the poster contest, winners from each grade level. With the end of the year quickly approaching, Academy Park has been buzzing with all kinds of end of the year events and celebrations. On Wednesday, the high school hosted an amazing sports banquet with a catered dinner for families and an uplifting ceremony. Three students from each team were awarded for their dedication, sportsmanship, and night pride. Shout out to Jason McGowan for hyping up the crowd and to our athletes for their unbelievable support of Jason and all their fellow athletes. The room is full of park pride, and it is an evening at AP that most will never forget. Last night, the AP band held their annual spring concert. After opening with the Star Spangled Banner, they performed Lightning by Todd Stalter, King of Pop, which is a compilation of Michael Jackson songs, Pop Pack, a Ukrainian dance, soundtrack highlights from Black Panther, and me medley. medley sorry, of Earth, Wind, and Fire Dance songs. The small but Mighty Jazz Ensemble closed the show with Crazy Little Thing Called Love, made famous by Queen. After band director, Miss Cubbage, acknowledged each senior with a heartfelt speech and plaque, um, Jeremy Murphy and the class of 2024 band members presented her with her, a plaque of her own. It was another evening, evening displaying the pride our students and teachers have in our high school. On April 19th, students from the AP government and AP US history classes along with the Young Democrats, Democrats Club, attended a trip to the state capitol. They enjoyed a private tour of the building. The students were recognized by the Speaker of the House, Representative McClinton. Ms. Barley was recognized for her efforts for hosting an annual voters registration drive at AP and registering 76 students this year. After attending the House session, the students were welcomed onto the House floor to speak with the representatives and take photos. Thank you to State Representative Heather Boyd for making this trip possible. Many, many members of our boys team have qualified for the PIAA track and field championships at Seth Grove Stadium at Shippensburg University this weekend. Tickets must be purchased online through hometown ticketing. If you cannot attend, you can find information for streaming and live results on PIAA.org. To our athletes, remember to give it your all, stay focused, and most importantly, enjoy every moment of the competition. You've already proven that you are among the best, and now is your time to shine. Good luck. On May 13th, Academy Park's chapter of the National Honor Society 
hosted their induction ceremony. After a lovely dinner in the cafeteria, the ceremony was held in the auditorium. This year, we welcomed an astonishing 39 new members to the chapter. As NHS president, I was honored to lead the new inductees in their pledge as they promised to uphold the pillars of character, scholarship, service, and leadership. <laughs> Junior prom was held on Friday, May 3rd, and senior prom will be held next Friday, May 31st. Seniors, if you wish to attend the after prom this year, please turn your permission slips in ASAP. The fun and games will begin at 11.30 p.m., so head back to AP after the prom ends. All eligible seniors are invited to attend the after prom party at Academy Park, whether you attend prom or not. If you attend prom, you can bring your prom date, even if they're not seniors at APHS. Everything at this event is free. There is no charge for entry, raffle tickets, food, games, or prizes. Congratulations to the Poetic 101 team. Our team in the Philly Slam League placed second in the championships last Friday. In addition to the team award, Ghazani Lewis and Cosilia Dogba were voted by the other coaches in the, in the league to the Philly Slam League All-Star team. Ghazani also won the Spirit of the Slam Award for Poetic 101. Ben Sabo won, with the growth, won the Growth Award for the season. Thank you to their coaches, Ms. Sokreni and Ms. Jetter, for leading our students in such a successful season. Subscribe to their YouTube page at poetic underscore 101 to check out all their performances. Senior Award Night will be held on Wednesday, May 29th at 6.30 p.m. Family and friends are invited to attend. The ceremony will be held in the high school auditorium. Our seniors will graduate on Thursday, June 6th at Newman University. We wish them all luck on their future endeavors and hope that they carry the night spirit with them. This concludes our student report. Enjoy your holiday, but be sure to remember those who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Have an amazing summer. Thank you all. And before we adjourn for tonight, I'd actually like to take a moment to express my gratitude to my fellow student school board representative right here, Nathan. As this marks your final meeting with us, I want to extend my heartfelt thanks for your unwavering guidance and support since the beginning of our roles. Your mentorship has been invaluable, and I deeply appreciate your friendship as well. I have a small token of appreciation for you as well um, before you embark on your journey beyond Academy Park. Best of luck with everything, and once again, thank you. Thank you. Uh, once again, thank you to our uh, student board representative reports. Again, Nathan, we wish you the best. Congratulations. Woo -woo. <laughs> and if you, you would Nate. like to leave, uh, you can, but you can stay for the long meeting if you like. So whatever you choose. <laughs> one second, please. Excuse me. One second. Before you leave, I want to thank you, and I would like both of you to come up here to me because I have a gift for you. Thank you guys, be safe going home. Dr. Sanchez, do you have a report? Yes, Madam President. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to start out, um, unfortunately, a little bit of a somber note. Wanted to make sure our, we express our condolences, our thoughts and prayers are out to the families and those who were impacted in last Friday's um, shooting. Um, Want to highlight um, 
the fact that during the last five weeks, my first five weeks here, there's been a lot of positive things that are happening. Uh, when I started, I made sure that um, I, I let staff know that I hear them and I appreciate them. Um, through different ways, recognize school, the social workers, our teachers, our principals, as there are special days that were designated for all these folks. But I have to admit that sometimes, you know, I'm human, I make mistakes, and there's one special group, our administrative assistants, the very first week that I started, I, I missed them. So publicly, I wanna say how much I value the work that you do as administrative assistants. Most often schools, buildings, they run because we have strong individuals that are in those offices that know knows what's going on and what happens behind the scenes. So to all of you in Southeast Delco who serve in that role, thank you very much for that. I also wanna congratulate and thank um, those teachers who are being recognized tonight for securing tenure. And I wanna call them out by name because this is uh, a momentous time in their professional career. So Erin Bohanan at Harris School, Natalia Chang, Darby Township School, um, Dylan Davis at Delcroft School, Claudia Danihu at, in the Kindergarten Center, Jessica Harkins at Darby Township School, Robert Hopkins at Harris School, Angela Sanai at Delcroft School, um, Michael Franchella at Academy Park, and Kayla Lolio at Academy Park. I wanna congratulate you. Um, this is the first of hopefully many steps as you continue your professional career with us um, at Southeast Delco. Yeah. So there are more reasons why I feel there's great pride in our district. And I, I wanna, I'm stealing some, uh, or maybe Kiara and Nathan stole, stole some of my notes because a lot of the things that they discuss are really, really moments of pride that we all, are, our chest should swell up. So I got to see firsthand the National Honor Society, a large class be inducted, the band concert, which had chills and at times brought tears down from many in the room. I may have one or two that night, last night as well. The show that we, we put together, Shrek, the boys track team being in Shippensburg representing us in state championships, and students like Kier and Nathan that are sitting amongst leaders of the district to help us move forward. There are lots of things for us to celebrate. Um, I encourage you to follow us on our social media that we're establishing, formal social media for the district. Um, we've established a Facebook page where we can celebrate and recognize the great things that are happening from the teachers that are receiving awards to the great experiences our kids are, are having with their, um, with their educators and also just a great celebration of our own staff. So with that, I'm sorry, good question. So the address on Facebook is um, Southeast Delco so you, you have to go to the Facebook and just look, search for Southeast Delco. There is an official page for us. We have about 320 followers. I'm hoping to double that after today's announcement. <coughs> Thank you very much, Madam President. That concludes my report. Thank you. May I have a motion to approve the agenda? Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Um, Any opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to approve the minutes from the regular board business meeting? Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to accept the treasurer's report? I so move. Second. It has been <coughs> properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion um, in the, for the bills for payment in the amount of $6,213,730? Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. There is no old business. That's new business. Are there any questions or comments on new business? Item A, education, one through 10. Are there any questions on new business item B, finance one through two? Oh. Mr. Butler. 
Yeah, just one uh, slight modification, uh, Madam President. Uh, item number one should be uh, five school board members. Oh, like a motion to amend it. Or something. Can I actually? Yes. I make a motion to amend finance B number one to approve the attendance of five school board directors and one administrator at the na at the annual National School Boards Association CUBE conference from October 28th, 2024 to October 30th, 2024 in Las Vegas, Nevada at a cost not to exceed $2,500 per person to be paid from the general fund. Motion. There's already been a motion and you second. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess second. Thank you. It has been properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Aye. Ms. Harris Johnson, what was your vote? I said aye. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, motion carries uh, eight was to there, one. Was there one note? One. Okay. Mr. Lamb. I'm sorry. That was before the amendment. That was before yeah. the amendment. Mm -hmm. May I, are there any questions for new business item C, HR, items one through 19? <laughs> Seeing none, are there any questions on new business item D, policy one through four? Seeing none, new business item E, property one through five? Seeing none. Are there any public comments regarding agenda items? There's one uh, comment about uh, agenda item. Ms. Manson, please come to the podium. You have three minutes. Please state your first and last name. Thank you so much. It's oh. just taxes. That's an agenda item. Oh, okay. We're agenda items now. Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, my name. Latanya Manson. That's, that's it. Oh, okay. So, um, y'all know I'm up here about taxes. So, I wasn't here. I haven't been here, I think, in probably like two, two months. So, I was told, or I, I heard, or and I was also told that you guys were um, raising taxes which we knew was coming. We knew taxes were coming. I'm sorry. Which we knew taxes were probably going to be raised. I just want to know um, what number did y'all agree on? Uh, Ms. Manson, what was approved at the April 25th meeting was, I'll just review the numbers very quickly. Uh, it was a uh, revenue in the amount of 107182575 expenditures in the amount of $108,393,438, uh, leaving a difference of $1,210,863. The amount that I just read off will be a use of fund balance. But the tax increase that is built into that and those numbers I just read was a six percent tax increase. Yeah, and we all that was approved. That, like this, this that was just the numbers that was given out. It, right. So what was approved was just a preliminary proposed. That is not the final budget. And then there's work that has been done since that time. And then I have an additional report under administrative updates. Okay. 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 Um, but it had to be approved at that time just for uh, uh, to be compliant. To be compliant. Yes. But we 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 haven't put a finalization on it yet. No. 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 the The final the final budget will be adopted the June twenty seventh meeting. So there is a committee of the whole meeting. Right. It's going to be on the twentieth. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll have another update at that time, but we're continually refining those numbers. 
Okay. And I'll give an update in later on in this meeting. Okay. Okay. So six percent is the highest then. Yes. And we ain't raised no taxes last year. No. And what was it the year before that? Uh, I want to say three percent. The year before. The year before was three. So two thousand twenty-two. Yeah, that it, it could. Uh, oh, tw well, twenty-three. Y'all didn't. Y'all didn't raise it. So it was three point nine. Last year, last year the recommendation was two and a half. Right, but we didn't. But we did zero. Okay. All right, two point nine. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Manson. May I have a motion to approve new business item A, education one through 10? Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Motion carries. May I have a motion to accept D, finance items one and two? Motion. I said move. Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. May I have a motion to accept New business item C, HR 1 to 19. Motion. I so move. Second. Okay. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. Madam President, may I have the floor for a moment? Oh, yes, please. So at this time, the board would like to recognize um, an employee that is retiring this month. Uh, Gwendolyn Reeves has served the district for six years, and we thank her for her service. Right. May I have a motion to accept new, bu new business item D, policy one through two? Motion. I so move. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call vote for item three? May I have a motion to accept the removal of the president of the Southeast Delco School District School Board of Directors from office? Wait a minute, I have a question. So, you are um, making a motion to remove the president, correct? Correct, the person that's sitting in the seat. Okay. So my thing is, um, if, if a person don't approve it, we say no? Correct. So if, if you got five no's, you stay in the seat? Correct. Okay, that's all I need to know. So I need a motion. For, uh, a motion. Motion. Second. The second. Uh, so it's been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call vote? Yes, you may, Madam President. Uh, rate, roll call vote, Mr. Fowler? No. Mrs. McGowan? Yes. Ms. Womack? No. Ms. Woodfolk? Nope. Mrs. Barley? Yes. Ms. Harris Johnson? No. Mr. Lafferty? Yes. Ms. Perry? Yes. Ms. Monroe Whitsett? No. Motion passes. Thank you. May I have a motion to approve the removal of the vice president from the Southeast Delco School? Mr. Butler, how many votes? How many? Five. 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 Five
Yes. Four yeses. Four yeses. Four yeses. Four yeses. Four yeses. So it did, not, it did not pass. No. No, no. The no was to remove. And the answer was, and it was no. So five said no. Five no. That's there were no. five no's, not so, to. So, 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 so it did pass. Yes. Okay, I, I understand. Okay. Yeah. No, it did not. It did not pass. 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 It did not so it did not pass. I'm sorry. I said it. I said. I said it wrong. I apologize. I just. I said it wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So, the motion fails. Yes. To remove. I'm sorry. My my apologies. Thank you. I was gonna say, Dr. Diorio, Mr. Diorio. <laughs> May I have a motion to approve the removal of the vice president of the Southeast Delco School District? School Board of Directors from office. Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call vote? Yes. Uh, Mr. Fowler. Yes. Mrs. McGowan. No. Ms. Womack. Yes. Ms. Woodfolk. Yes. Mrs. Barley. No. Ms. Harris Johnson. Yes. Mr. Lafferty. Yes. Ms. Perry. No. Ms. Monroe Whitsett. Yes. Six yeses. Three no's. Motion. Motion. Passes. Passes. If I may, Madam Chair. Yes, Mr. Diorio. Uh, well, then, the office of vice president being vacant at this point in time, there should be an election for vice president then to fill that to fill that seat, and any 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 board member would be eligible except for the president, of course. Okay. So can I um, have a make a motion to open nominations for vice president? I'll make a motion to uh, uh, nominate uh, vice president. So we have a motion on the floor. I need a second. 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 You motioned. <laughs> second. Second. Wait. You, 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 this wouldn't be a motion. Would be nominate first. It would be nominations. Next, right. Nominate. So, so before we have a motion, you'd have to nominate. Someone yes. to fill the role, and as I said, it can be anybody on the board, any of the eight members on the board, except for the president. I'd like to nominate Ms. Barley. Are there any other nominations on the floor? Uh, nominate Ms. Teresa Harris Johnson. Are there any more nominations? Nominations are closed. May I have a motion to nominate Ms. Barley as Vice President of the Southeast Delco School District School Board of Directors? Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call vote? Yes, Madam President. Uh, Mr. Fowler? No. Ms. M Mrs. McGowan? Yes. Ms. Womack? No. Ms. Woodfolk? No. Mrs. Barley? Yes. Ms. Harris Johnson? No. Mr. Lafferty? Yes. Ms. Perry? Yes. Ms. Monroe Whitsett? No. Okay, motion uh, five. Uh, I'm sorry, hold on. 
the 5-4 motion fails. Yes. May I have a motion to elect uh, Ms. Harris Johnson for Vice President of Southeast Elko School District School Board of Directors? May I have a motion, please? Motion. Is a motion? Second. It has been properly moved and second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all, uh, Mr. Butler, may I have a roll call vote? Yes, you may, Madam President. Mr. Fowler? Yes. Mrs. McGowan? No. Ms. Uh, Ms. Womack? Yes. Ms. Woodfolk? Yes. Mrs. Farley? No. Ms. Harris Johnson? Yes. Mr. Lafferty? No. Ms. Perry? No. Ms. Monroe Whitsett? Yes. Uh, five yeses, four noes. Motion passes. Congratulations, Ms. Harris Johnson. May I have a motion to Thank accept? You. You're welcome. May I have a motion to accept new business E property one through five? Motion. Second. It has been properly moved and seconded. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Ms. Woodfolk, do you have a report from the Delaware County Community College? No, Madam President, thank you. Mr. Lafferty? Uh, last month you said that you were going to give me the information, then you called me at home and said you would have the information, and now you're giving a no report. I would like the information as soon as possible. I don't have any report for you because they are going to come to the um, to one of our meetings to explain or answer any questions that you may have. Uh, at the next meeting, uh, Committee of the Whole, I will give you a date. Thank you. The DC Delaware County Intermediate Unit is having graduation right now at Newman College for the technical students, so congratulations to all the technical seniors. <clears throat> that are graduating tonight. Sorry, I couldn't be there. Wish you the best in your trade. Mr. Fowler, do you have a legislative council slash PSBA uh, report? I do, Madam President. Um, Thank you. Dr. Sanchez already had it in our folder, what I was going to bring to you guys tonight. So if you open your folder, <laughs> um, it was a webinar for what is a school member to do, and it's on May 29th, 2024, from 6 to 7.30. And it's... Um, Webinar tailored for school board members navigating the intricate landscape of First Amendment issues, social media dynamics, and the ever-evolving cultural landscape devolve into the essential information needed to effectively navigate these pressing topics, ensuring a robust and informed approach to governance. Secure your place now for an enriching session designed to empower and equip, equip you for the complexity of your role. And that concludes my report, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Fowler. Um, we don't have a parent student advisory report at this time. Um, Dr. Mr. Diorio, do you have a solicitor's report? Nothing this evening, Madam Chairman. <laughs> do we have an administrative team updates? Madam President, yes, we do. Mr. Butler. Thank you. Thank you, Madam President. Uh, I just want to give a, a quick update on where we're at since uh, the preliminary proposed budget was approved. Uh, what has changed since that uh, point in time is that we have gotten uh, a, another grant. It is called, just bear with me, the acronym is BSCA Stronger Connections Grant. Uh, the acronym means Bipartisan Safer Communities Act Stronger Connection Grant. Uh, that will award the district uh, an amount of $1,026,682. Uh, yes, $1,026,682. Uh, this will, uh, and I'm going to keep this in with the current uh, amounts that have been approved and preliminary proposed. 
the one number that I read off was uh, a little over a million dollars, which was use of fund balance. Uh, this grant uh, will take care of the use of fund balance. So as of right now, there's still a 6% uh, tax increase in this, in this document. Uh, moving to the next section. Uh, additional, I have it categorized as additional recommendations and changes. Uh, there is, I have uh, increased the basic ed funding uh, subsidy uh, in the document that would be uh, presented at the Committee of the Whole to $31,236,374. Uh, this is a portion of the increase uh, that the, that uh, the governor's budget uh, is uh, proposing that Southeast, Southeast Falco gets. Uh, the, what has not been approved has been uh, $7.7 million. As I had stated before, uh, that number is not, that full number is not in, these, uh, in the budget document because it has not been approved by the state. Uh, so it is a portion of, uh, of that number. Uh, so, with that portion increase, it now allows uh, for a two and a half percent uh, tax increase at, for, at this point. So, at a six percent tax increase, taxes the total amount that that would uh, uh, bring forward to the district would be three million two hundred one thousand six hundred twenty one dollars if there were a six percent tax increase. With a two and a half percent tax increase, the increase would be one million four hundred ninety-nine thousand five sixty-seven. So that's where we're at today. Uh, as I had mentioned in the last meeting, we will continue uh, to refine. Uh, Dr. Sanchez has had preliminary meetings with his cabinet uh, to talk about uh, potential new initiatives and new ways in which we can either bring kids back, bring students back to the district, excuse me, bring students back to the district, uh, or seek out other funding sources uh, to um, uh, benefit the district. That is my report. I have a quick, Ms. McGallan. Uh, just a quick question, so the document that we got tonight doesn't show that tax increase, or doesn't show the 2%, we currently have the 6%. Right, what you will see in the package that, uh, in the binder that you got tonight, the first two pages is what I just covered about uh, the new grant for the million dollars, and then the uh, two two and a half percent tax increase. Okay, thank you. Now, I will, yeah, you're welcome. But I will um, uh, send out to the board another there's two other documents in there. There's the one that was the preliminary proposed document that was approved in April. And then I did put another document in there that reflects the $1 million grant uh, with the 6% tax increase. That would be uh, dated uh, yesterday's date on that, on that one document. And then there will be a new document that I will present for Committee of the Whole. And again, the goal is, is to, to lessen the impact on tax increases. So if at that time, out of that $7.7 .7 million, I know that the number that we're going to receive is going to be higher, we'll build that in, and then that will have an impact on the tax increase. So we'll just continue to, to move it uh, and just be responsible in that way. Mr. Lafferty. Um, a while ago, I spoke to you about the libraries, the, the, the ongoing, you gave the $1,000 library to all the li public libraries. You've been doing it for years. Yeah, that's still, that's still in there. It's still in there, but um, what I was looking for was, because they're doing science projects and now, I was looking for $1,200 for each library so that they can continue their summer programs. Well, not all boroughs have libraries. Okay. So... Are you suggesting that to the board? Yes, without a doubt.
does any board member have any comment on it? Or <coughs> we can, do you want to discuss this at the next meeting or? At the next meeting, okay, so <coughs> Ms. Um, Dr. Singer, can you put this for discussion at the next um, committee at a whole, please? Yes, Madam President. Thank you. Um, are there any comments from citizens regarding non-agenda items? Yes, Madam President. So, William Leiter. Good evening. Good evening. You have three minutes, and you can just state. My name, name is William Leiter. Thank you. No, no, no. That's your name, sir. Thank you. Yes. Um, so, uh, good evening to the uh, board members, uh, President Sanchez, and I'm sorry, Dr. Sanchez, and to the president. October 2022, I was appointed to the Hollandale Planning Commission. Uh, just this year, I was voted to be the chairperson for that planning commission. So I'd like to present to you all tonight uh, some initiatives that the Hollandale Planning Commission is advancing that happens to include uh, the Southeast Central School District. Uh, we want to uh, establish a, an annual uh, blood drive to honor uh, a student from Academy Park High School, Alexander D. Um, thank you, Anthony D. Alexander Jr. Uh, I am working with the parents, the Red Cross, the uh, Hollandale Police Department to try to establish all of the logistics for that. But we want to partner with the school district and of course Academy Park High School as the location for that blood drive. We were hoping that that blood drive could co coincide with uh, his birth date, which is uh, September the 7th, I think it is. Uh, we know that we will not be able to do that for this upcoming September, uh, as it does not uh, align with the Red Cross's schedule. Uh, we were looking for a Saturday blood drive, but it does look fit like there is opportunity for a weekday blood drive, and so, Conley Planning Commission wants to uh, partner and open dialogue with the school district to see if that is uh, wanted and if it's feasible. Uh, that is one point uh, that I'd like to bring. Uh, the second point is that uh, one of my first initiatives on the um, Planning Commission was to establish a shade tree commission in Collindale. Uh, Collindale uh, Council has approved the formation of that Shade Tree Commission. Uh, we are writing up ordinances now for that Shade Tree Commission. It is my desire, and I think that it is uh, quite relevant that some of our students also be allowed to sit on that Shade Tree Commission. I believe that 50% of the membership of that Shade Tree Commission should be made up of our students in the district. Of course, I'm looking at uh, the 10th grade, 11th grade, and seniors, uh, focusing more on the 10th and 11th, as those seniors are probably becoming more inundated with graduation uh, preparation. And so those are the two initiatives that uh, the Collindale Planning Commission wants to present to the school district. Uh, I would uh, covet opportunity to begin those dialogues so that we can advance those plans for uh, the blood drive this upcoming fall, and then the Shade Tree Commission uh, staffing uh, of members uh, in 2025. Thank you, uh, Mr. Lyer, that was your time. However, Dr. Sanchez will get in touch with you. Thank you very okay, much. Okay, thank you. Do you have a business card? Uh, no, it's all right, we can use the card. I, I just asked. Everyone has my contact information. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Margaret Roger Bing. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, I just had a comment about an issue that I found out about this week. Um, with all due respect to all the administration, all the people who make the decisions, I just wanted to just um, kind of advocate 
for some of the students. Um, and I'm sure it's probably felt on both ends with the movement, possibly, of the um, um, uh, emotional support and the program um, at Delcroft kind of switching up location. I know when we split up the group, and I, and I know it was difficult, because I lived through all of BS being at Darby Township School, um, but when that was split up, parents were so upset. <laughs> and it was very difficult um, in that adjustment. And there were some things that I saw today, and I just looked, those kids, and I'm sure I speak on behalf of a lot of my coworkers, those are our babies. And I know that Delcroft probably feels that way about their students also and their program. And we look after them, they're like another child that we had and we love them so much. And it's the growth that we've seen them make and strides and the, the work that we put in with parents and stuff, because it's a group effort more so than just the individual teacher that you're just moving and just thinking you're moving them with them. They're really connected to everyone in the building. You know, they come out for classes or, you know, they come down in the hall and they see us and they talk to us and stuff. It, it just shattered my heart when I thought about it. And I just wanted to, I don't know what the thought is, the thought process, the decision making, the logistics and whatnot, but I just wanted to say as a staff member, those kids are gonna be shattered. And I've seen some parent kickback about it, the parents are upset, the students, I don't even know if they know yet. I'm just asking for like consideration some way, um, just speaking on behalf of the kids, because that's gonna be a hard adjustment for them to go into a whole different environment with new people and learning, you know, a different procedure or just different things when they've worked so hard. And you're talking about children who have some, you know, some of the most challenging uh, difficulties, so to speak, um, with their situations with their education and stuff. So I just feel like to move them, it, it, it just would be very difficult for those kids um, because that's their home. Like Delcroft is their home for those students. DTS is our students' home. They're just like uprooting. That would be just uprooting their foundation because they come from, they might have a background that they don't get what they look forward to when they come in. I don't know if you guys realize that, like, you know, they might need that hug from that special person. When they come in, if you move them, they'll go with their, they might go with their teacher if the teacher stays or whatever like that. But the whole environment is different. So it's kind of like taking a child and putting them in a foster placement, so to speak. You know, I, I just, I just wanted to kind of advocate for, for that situation. I know you guys got to do what you got to do. I don't want to step on nobody's toes. We all team players. We're going to do what we got to do. But we really love our kids. I know Delcroft loves on their babies, too. I, I just wanted to just come up and just say that as uh, an employee who works closely with these kids, it's going to break everybody's heart, and it's going to be a very hard adjustment for, um, for them, for us, for everyone. And I just wanted to just thank you for allowing me to say that. Thank you. Um, Ms. Manson. Okay. Uh, say my name, Latanya Manson. Is that good? Okay. All right, so this is the cheerleading part. I'm not up here asking for no money. I don't, we're, we're fine. Um, however, we, this year has been challenging for me 
I'm not, I can't speak for the other sports and the other coaches, I'm gonna say for me. Um, however, I get we have a new athletic director and things are trying to change and things are being moved around and things are being done. I just don't think everyone realizes what goes into being on a cheerleading team. So cheerleading is not done. It doesn't start in August, where the, the, the football team may start in August and then our game is the end of August. Cheerleading doesn't work like that and that's across the country. Cheerleading is made where you have um, tryouts are done the year before, at the end of the year, so that the cheerleaders can go to clinics and different um, things over the summer so that they are well prepared. You can't prepare cheerleaders two weeks ahead of time to lift somebody or to cheer or know the procedures on how to cheer at a game in two weeks. It just doesn't work like that. Now, I get it. We I've received the email, and I've looked through some emails um, stating that we had to, they're redoing contracts or supplemental contracts and things like that. However, no one has ever talked to me to tell me what it is exactly I'm supposed to be doing. So I'm doing what I've been doing for 18 years. And then I'm told something different later. Then I got clarity on why I was told what I was, what I was told. And then, but I'm sitting here looking at the budget on what the cheerleaders have to pay and this camp that comes June 17th. Let me say that one more time, June 17th. That's the camp. And I can't have tryouts in, in July. I can't have tryouts in August. For one, I'm not gonna be able to find these kids. The global call that y'all send out they don't even pay attention during the school year, the parents don't, let alone during the summer. And I can't control anybody's um, vacations and things that they do. However, while they're still in school, that's something that I can do and I can have tryouts and then they go on about their business and we'll do what we need to do during the summer. This is something that I've been doing, like I said, for 18 years. This also has been going on when I was chairing in 90, I graduated in 98. So I'm not saying change the program or change what they're doing. I'm just saying cheerleading, if we're gonna go through the interview process and go through what we are, we're doing, that has to be moved up prior to the dates that we're doing for everybody else. Because if not, I am gonna be back up here asking y'all for money, especially with this 6% you trying to come up with. I'm gonna ask for some of that. So if I don't, if, I'm, if they're not able to do this, beforehand, if they're not able to do this beforehand, then I'm going to have to come up here and ask for money and my parents are not going to be able to pay and I'm going to be expecting some of the 6%. So I'm just saying you need to talk with the motivation and talk with whoever we need to talk with in order for y'all to continue to be successful. I think you're trying to bring money. That's fine as well. Just let me know ahead of time but don't wait till July. Thank you, Ms. Manson. Thank you, Ms. Manson. Dr. Sanchez, do you have any more uh, non-agenda items? No, Madam President. Thank you. Announcements for future meetings. Committee to hold will be Thursday, June 20th, 2024 at 6 p.m. Board business will be Thursday, June 27th, 2024 at 7 p.m. That is the night that we will um, be voting on the final budget. Is that correct, Mr. Butler? Yes, sir. Um, will we be having it here or at the Army Park? We just heard the budget, the final budget. Yeah, the school committee should come here. Yeah. Can we do it? To be determined. To be determined. Okay. Thank you. Seeing no other business for the board tonight, may I have a motion to adjourn? I so move. Second. There's been a motion and a second. Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Are there any questions? Seeing none, all in favor? Aye. Any Aye. opposed? Motion carries. Good night. Have a safe Memorial Weekend, everyone.